So I'll um, enlarge this, this terminal window. Okay, so I'm just going to go into my directory where I keep my tutorials. And what I'll do, I'll just copy the last file, um, which is tutorial 04 click. And I'll make a copy of that because we'll work on um, what we did last time. Screenshot. And I'll just open this up a little bit. And I'll open that file. Or I'll go into my directory, which would be a bit easier. Okay, so um, this is the code from last time. So as as mentioned, check out part two if you haven't, um, and then that way you can get an understanding for the basis of this code. Okay, so I'll just modify this code slightly just so that it's a little bit more easier to follow. Um, so for the first bit, I'm just going to Just put some description of where we are. So on this bit here, I'm going to call that um, 1.1, and this is the home page. So, so we're still working on the Internet Movie Database website, and here we access the um, home page and then we print out the landing page current URL and the title and then the second bit which we're going to do we're going to take a screenshot of this page so I'm just going to put in a description and that's going to be 1.2 and I'll just leave that for the moment and then the bit underneath it this is when we click the link on the home page that takes us to the sign in page. So I will call that 1.3 because we're still, I'm, I'm calling it 1 because we're still on the home page and we're clicking. That's the third thing which we're going to do. And then on the sign in page, that was number 2 and I'll call that 2.1 and that's when we arrived at the sign in page and then finally what we'll do is take a screenshot of the sign in page so I will call that 2.2 and I'll say that's a screenshot. So 1.2 above is a screenshot, and 1.3 is the click on element. Okay, so the first thing I'll do. Um, here I'm printing out titles, so I'm just going to comment that out.
because what I would like to do, I would like to use that variable. I would like to, so here we have title, drive, title, sorry, driver title. And what I would like to do is use that variable or that value to both print that out to the screen as we're currently doing, as well as use it for our file name for our screenshot. So I'm just going to put that into its own variable. So title equals driver dot title. And then what I'll do, I will print title. And then just below, I will take a screenshot. But before I do that, I need to give the screenshot a file name and a location of where I will save it. Now what I'll do, I'll do a F string. And I need to put in the full path so that way it will work and I'll put it in a folder called screenshot and it will be a PNG file. I could save it as a JPEG, um, but PNG retains all of the quality that I need. Um, before I do that, actually, what I should do is create this folder. Now, I could create the folder using Python code, um, but I'm just trying to keep this code as simple as possible. So I just copy that. And okay, I, I don't need that full path since I'm already in the directory. So I'll, I'll just say make directory screenshot. Oh, okay, so it already exists. I've already created that folder. Okay, yep. And just below it, I'm going to take that screenshot. So the code for that will be driver save underscore screenshot. So we've got the object driver and then where we currently are um, within our session, browser session, we're going to take a screenshot using the method save underscore screenshot. And then the value that we give that, or the argument, will be the file name. Okay. Then down here, what I would like to do, I would like to take another screenshot just below here. So I need to copy some of these values up here because where we are, we need to repeat this code. So I'll just copy title and print. And I'll just paste it. And then below it, I also need to copy the file name or repetition of the code and paste it down here. So 
So the reason why I need to repeat that code, here at the top on the home page, we've captured title and we've put it into the variable title, we're printing it out and then we're also capturing title as part of the file name for the screenshot and we're taking that screenshot. So what I need to do, I need to overwrite that variable title again here as we come onto the sign, on, sign in page and then I can print out that title, the new title and then also the new title which is going to be the sign in page. I'm going to now use that as a file name to capture the screenshot of the sign in page. So we'll give that a go. Okay, so I will do a Python 3 and I don't think I actually saved that page, so let me just go back and save that and it will be tutorial 05 screenshot.py Okay, so hopefully that has taken a screenshot. So let's go into the screenshot directory and let's see what we have. Okay, so we've got two files in there. So let's open them up and take a look. I'll just go into the folder. take a look okay so there's the first one for the home page and that's the second one for the sign-in page and just one more thing I should probably show you um, it seems to work okay on this occasion but sometimes um, if the page takes a little while to load then you might need to put in a delay so what you need to do, you need to import time. So I've got time up here where I've imported it, and you'll just put a timer. So the same way you have time sleep here, and I'm sleeping for five seconds before I actually click my element, then you might want to put the same thing in there for a screenshot. So just before you actually take the screenshot just put a delay of about two three four five seconds um, just so you ensure that the page loads so if you do get a blank page then that is um, indication that you need to put a delay in there for the page to load before you can take the screenshot okay and that's it cheers